Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the WeChat app on your iPhone not working at all or working improperly. If there are any problems with your WeChat app on your iPhone, I'm gonna show you five simple solutions to that problem. And um, after each of them, I recommend just checking if um, at the app is now working or if the problem that you have occurs only occasionally you may want to do each of the steps so um, you just you know don't, uh, don't it just doesn't appear in the future so um, <clears throat> to begin I'm gonna show you the um, the most common fix which is the update Let's go to the App Store app, then find WeChat. Now, as you click on the WeChat app, it may show you update right here. If it does, click on it. And um, after it updates, your app may be working, but if it's still not working, let's get to the next thing, which is going to settings and checking if your permissions are all okay. So scroll all the way down to apps, then find WeChat. And now you can see that um, I have just a few permissions. If you've used your app uh, for longer than me, then probably you'll have a bit more permissions here, like the photos, um, permission uh, the camera, microphone maybe, or um, your location, there are several ones. And if any of them are disabled, then features uh, associated with that permissions um, most probably just won't be working. So make sure that everything is enabled or if there's anything like contacts or photos, you need to Go into that, then select allow all mm, or just if it's location, then make sure it's set to mm, while using the app or if you want to share your live location in WeChat uh, so it continues sharing even if the app is closed, make sure that location here is set to always. And um, <coughs> Once everything is sorted, also make sure that the mobile data is enabled if you want to use WeChat, uh, even if you don't have Wi-Fi access and that background, a background app refresh is enabled. So um, the app, app uh, re re refreshes in the background and gives you notifications. Um, and once that's sorted and still doesn't work, I, I think that may help Mm, many people, I, I, I think, is just restarting the phone. It is a very simple thing that makes, often makes everything work. And to do it, uh, just press on power and either of the volume buttons at the same time. Then you'll see slide to power off. So slide it and release. Then wait for about 10 seconds. And after the 10 seconds, you can start by pressing and holding on the power button until you can see the Apple logo. Once it shows you that, release the button and wait. Now I'm gonna simply unlock the phone. and you can see if the app is working. If it's still not working, you may want to reinstall it. But before we do that, really make sure that you know the password to your account because most probably it will be asked again if you reinstall that app. So um, once you're sure about it, uh, that you know the password, you may also find it in the passwords app. Um, you don't have to memorize it if it's in the passwords app. Uh, but you just either need to remember it or have it in the passwords app. Mm, then just find the WeChat on your home screen, press and hold on it and click on remove 
um, app, then click on delete app, delete. Once it's deleted, go to the app store and search for WeChat. Then download it and wait until it downloads. Once it's downloaded, um, it should be working. And if there, there's still an issue, uh, you may want to go to settings if you are low on storage um, because any app, including WeChat, needs some of the free storage uh, to just be able to cache some files, like for example, in some conversations, you may receive a photo and it will not load it if it doesn't have enough storage free on your phone. Mm, and of course it caches it permanently, uh, temporarily, so it's not like it saves your that picture forever, it just caches it for a few days and then removes it. So don't really worry about it, but you need to have some free space. So let's go to general, then iPhone storage. And now you can see that I have a lot of free storage, which is 30 gigabytes. That is a lot. But if you have like 100 megabytes, maybe a, a bit more or a bit less, then it's not sufficient enough and you may want to find an app that you want to delete. Mm, of course, if you can, if you have any app that you just don't need, because if you need all of the apps that you have, then unfortunately that won't be possible, but I'm gonna sh uh, tell you about what to do then in a moment. Before we do that, also, if you find an app that you want to delete and you don't really want to delete its data because you're planning on reinstalling it in a certain time in the future, then you may want to offload it. That will not <coughs> uh, delete uh, the documents and data, only will reduce the app size. So if you have any data cached in that app, like in ways you may have an offline map or I don't know, in TikTok, you may have a draft video and if you offload the app, that won't delete it. And if you delete it, it will delete the app and its data. So that choice is up to you. And if you think that you removed enough, you freed up enough storage for uh, your app to work again, then you can try it. And if you can't really uninstall any app, you may want to go to photos. Photos usually take quite a lot of space. In my case, they do take up um, two gigabytes. So to free it up, you can just find the photos that you don't need. You can see I have lots of the photos. Not all of them are really needed. So in order to delete it, click on select select the photos that you don't need. I'm gonna select like 30 of them. Then click on the trash icon and click on delete 30 photos. And once you delete them that way, it's not, it hasn't yet freed up your storage. It's been moved to the recently deleted folder for about 30 days. And after that time, it will delete it permanently. But if you want to free up your storage now, first make sure that you really are sure that you don't need those photos or videos because videos also take up quite a lot of storage and it's the easiest way to free up your storage by deleting some videos that you don't need. Of course, if you need some videos, then feel free to keep them. Um, and um, yeah, so if you want to free up your storage now, make sure that you want to delete that photo or video then go to recently deleted folder. You may need to unlock it with your face ID or passcode. And here you'll see, um, you can just click on select, select the photos that you want to permanently remove, click on three dots, then delete, delete from all devices and it's done. Um, so now your storage should be, should be freed up and if the app still doesn't work, try restarting your phone again, then 
if the problems still occur, there are two things that aren't dependent on you. It's either um, the server of WeChat that's not working temporarily, but it should be running again in a few hours probably, or um, it's just that the app requires an update that hasn't been yet rolled, up, uh, rolled out, so you may want to seek for an update um, from time to time and see in the App Store if there is the update available here. And if it is, then update the app and it may be working again. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.